2014 New York State Public High School Athletic Association Hall of Fame inductee. In the administrator category, Dr. Mira Martinchich. You know, my mantra always was, um, some men are born leaders and some leaders are born women. And I think that um, that that part of it was always a very special part of my career. Being a leader has never been a problem for Mira Martinchich. AKA Dr. M has dedicated her life to educating and mentoring children through sport. Her road to the Hall of Fame began in the 70s. While she was teaching at the middle school level, she decided to put her passion of sport to good use by becoming a coach. And she didn't go too crazy with it. You know, maybe coached a sport here or there. When you look at all the sports you coached, four or five? No, more like about eight. Uh, about oh, eight. just eight. Okay, it's pretty obvious that Mira loved to coach, especially at the modified level. I think that there's something so pure about middle school ath athletics because, you know, you don't count wins and losses. The whole focus of middle school athletics is teaching and um, teaching them how to be an athlete and what it means to be a part of a team and what it means to think about we instead of I. After balancing teaching and coaching for more than a decade, Mira's hard work finally paid off. In 1989, she became the director of physical education, athletics, and recreation at Roslyn Public Schools. At the time, she was one of the very few women who held that position, and she was reminded of that quite often. I, I think the funniest moment was a time I took a phone call from an official who had to speak to the athletic director, and I said, um, he, called, he answered the phone and said, let me speak to your AD, babe. And I said, you got her, hon. That was my favorite moment. Um, and then he changed into, oh, oh. And, um, and then I said, you know, one for women in sport. But like the good sport that she is, Mira took it all in stride because no one was going to stop her from achieving her ultimate goal, which was making sure that children, especially young girls, would all have the opportunities she never had. You know, my high school experience was before Title IX, so the experiences we had as women in sport were limited. You know, we had play dates more than we had games or teams. We sewed our own uniforms, we rode the subway. So to be able to, to give back and to do that and to build programs where my girls now at, at Roslyn High School got upset if the blues on their uniforms were slightly off from each other, and I said, well, we ironed on our name and our numbers, so I'm happy that this gets you upset and that you expect to have the best that, you know, that we can give you. So that's kind of success. Mira spent 20 years as director, retiring just a few years ago in 2009. Mira's entire career was always about we instead of I, which is fitting because today it's still about team as she gets set to enter the Hall of Fame with five others. It's a moment she can't wait to share with her family. But I think they're incredibly proud. I'm really proud my mom's you know, gonna be here at the induction um, and I'll be surrounded by friends who are all a part of my career. So that part of it is very sweet. Congratulations, Mira, on your induction into the New York State Public High School Athletic Association Hall of Fame.